What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World, and we're about to jump back into what golden ticket you should be getting for free. It will be coming May 29th. So many of you guys have been joining in. Um, you know, it started off because some of you guys wanted to know, like, yo, GMI, what golden ticket are you going after? I told you guys, I am not sure. Okay, but if I had to lean towards one, I would probably say Calvin Johnson, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with, um, you know, obviously the GOAT Sean Taylor when he comes out. But the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up some packs. This is usually the first thing that we do on a daily basis. Even though I've completed all my daily objectives and got my second 99 overall power pass, I still do it every day to see, you know, I want to see what EA is going to give me as far as coins uh, when you win two games and open a pack from the store. So that's something that you guys should do. If you guys have been keeping up with the series, go ahead and drop the number seven in the comment section because we've already covered a few golden tickets. Right now, we're going to be talking about golden ticket Adrian Peterson and Trey Edmonds. Now, there's really no reason to look at the Adrian Peterson card because he's pretty much like Trey Edmonds. It's like the same exact thing. Um, that's why their prices are on the lower end of the golden tickets. These cards are absolutely not worth it because you can invest in Walter Payton and get a card that has, you know, pretty much all these things that they have with the brake tackle, truck, and all that stuff, but he also has human joystick. And then some of you guys that are asking about it, like, yo, Jemai, why is human joystick so important? What, did it, what is it about that actual ability that makes the game so much more fun? And th the honest truth is, if you understand stick work and you understand what Madden is, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our weekend league uh, from last week. I uh, tweeted out a lot of the games that were going on um, we were only able to get 24 wins. The dude that um, left the message that I played in Weekend League, I actually wasn't recording the game. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of you guys are like, yo, you know, can we see the whole game? I don't record it. I don't just have my, you know, my thing just on. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, sometimes I just sit back and play the game, but I can store clips, and that's what I did in the game, and I gave you guys the clips on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all at Gmyers World, so you guys can go ahead and check it out. It was definitely um, a hilarious thing to see because... The dude was pretty much talking like me when I'm getting dominated and it's like hilarious because um, you know a lot of you guys understand that it's, it's about having fun. You know what I'm saying? And when a dude just dominates you uncontrollably, which you guys will see on G Myers World Gaming. By the way, for those of you guys that want to see, uh, some of you guys were asking what happened with that first game in the seasons. Uh, that game is on um, G Myers World Gaming because uh, I played that live on stream. So. Like, if you guys want to see me lose and laugh at me, it's always going to be available on Jemai's World Gaming because typically dudes come out of the woodworks with ridiculous schemes and get wins against me whenever I'm streaming. So it's part of the game. So look, pretty much right now, what we're going to be talking about is the overall aspect of the run game. Now, these two guys, the reason that I did not I did not include Bo Jackson is because Bo Jackson actually has human joystick. All right, so that'll be a toss-up, even though I still think that you're better off getting Walter Payton and not wasting your golden ticket on Bo Jackson. Because if you get this guy, you know, you're going to be pretty much getting the same card. I think right now, um, you see, you see like those movements like that with human joystick is what changes everything up. Uh, you know, his ability to break tackles and go wild. Those are just some of the things that make Walter Payton, AKA sweetness, so good. Um, so, you know, that's something that I wanted to make sure you guys understood. Now, right here, we're going to go out here and just throw a pass real quick. He's going to pick me off. That, yo, shout out to the CPU, man. They really know how to get that animation every time and help these dudes out. But either way, you know, we're going to go ahead and get our safety real quick and keep it moving. But I'm going to tell you this right now. With everything that's going on as far as, you know, Trey Edmonds and AP, if you see people using them, it's rather easy to tackle them. Because you got to remember... The game is tuned, so you can't just run down the field punching dudes in the face with armbar. And I, I keep trying to explain that to you guys. Like, that was one of the main reasons that I tried out Golden Ticket, uh, Bo Jackson. Now we just got him awesome. I was very upset that he picked me last time. Why did my leg get stuck in him? My leg just got stuck right there. Like, I don't know what that was about, but don't worry about it. I was very upset because a Golden Ticket Bo Jackson, I think you should be able to stiff arm more than once per, you know, uh, you know, on an actual play. But that's all you get. You get one stiff arm, bro, and then you could spam it all you want. You're not getting another one. I think, based on the stamina bar going into Madden 21, that they should allow you to do more if your stamina allows you to do it. Because if you're tired, I get that. But if you're fresh and you punch one, you know, you punch a corner and then you punch a safety, that should be fine. You know what I'm saying? Those are the little dudes. If the big dudes cause you to, you know, cause more issues for you, that's a different story. If you guys agree with it that you should get multiple uses out of the armbar, go ahead and type the number five in the comment section. I'm just saying, like, look, 
you gotta if you want to make the game fun because like i said when i was when the game first came out and i saw dudes running around the cowboys and it was like an arm bar fest with zeke elliott you guys asked me my honest opinion uh, honest opinion you could guys you guys could go back and check on twitter i had no problem with getting arm barred 67 times i had no problem with it and i'm gonna explain to you again why you have to be able to adjust if you can't adjust that's your problem you know what you can't adjust to if you guys played madden 09 type the number 12 in the comments the qb walk when you are okay run, run, oh oh okay now you just changed the, okay he just changed the whole gameplay now oh you're gonna celebrate on me you're gonna celebrate on me you want my moms too okay now you just turned this game into something else bro now me and your mom's getting it all like rocky balboa and rocky six baby all right that has nothing to do with anything but let me get back to what i was saying that that no but seriously this guy disrespected me all right you know this guy knows he's not going to win the game so to try to celebrate going into the end zone not only is eddie reed about to take care of you and take get us our two points but the rest of the game is pure domination he just aggravated my soul by doing that to me but we're not going to talk don't worry about that now as far as adjustments go for those of us that played madden 09 and knew what the qb walk was that became a major major part of one of the most unstoppable things you could ever do in madden because there was no way to defend it. You just literally walked through everybody, hiked the ball, you was in the end zone. It was some of the most ridiculous stuff. People were selling it. It was wild. So pretty much, that was something that you couldn't adjust to. Every other thing, even the most vicious nano blitzes, going back to like, you know, 2002, when you just couldn't block certain ones, you had to like run run goal line. If you guys know what I'm talking about with that. Madden has had a lot of things. You see, that's what I, oh, I should have, I should have stayed wide. I should have stayed wide right there. But Madden has had a lot of things but there is no reason all right i'm gonna moss him right here but there is no reason that you know people should just out oh bro the arm bar arm bar because remember that was an ability solely as one of the three so if we have we have 11 players on offense 11 players on defense if three of our players get abilities shouldn't it maximize why we use them that was my logic around it now i know again you guys tweeted me back like, yo, was this okay? It was early tweets like, yo, dudes getting punched in the face like four or five times, dudes going for six. And I kept saying yes. And the reason is you could have picked a defense that helped you counteract what he was doing. The problem is you can't just pick any team willy nilly because every ability counts. That was one of the biggest things. And that's why right now, the way, you know, you guys are asking about the golden tickets like Jemaya, which one, which one? I wanna make sure you guys understand it's a gnat, bro. You pick one and you're done. That is it. So I don't want you picking the wrong one. I don't want you, oh, bro, you know, there is no exchange set, to my knowledge. And if EA gives us an exchange set, EA is giving us Christmas in May. Because a lot of us are just going to go ahead and pick one and then switch them the next day. So I don't think that that would be smart on EA's part to do it. Neither do I think that they're going to do it. Because... If you get, you know, it's your one-time thing, similar to the Madden 10. Remember you guys, we had the early Madden 10. We got to pick any Madden 10 player after the, you know, amount of weeks that they had, whatever. Those are some of the things that made, made Madden 20 a W. Them giving away free cards, you know, during a promo, whatever, and giving us the option out of all of them. Now, remember, there are a lot of golden tickets that you can choose from. It is no way, bro, by no means, I don't care if you're a, you know, a Steelers fan, I don't care if you're a Vikings fan slash, you know, maybe Redskins now with Adrian Peterson, it does not make sense to use it on, you know, on your free card. Now, if you're dead broke and you just got the game and you're a diehard AP fan and you just want a card with 99 speed, 99 Excel, and you don't have an issue with not having human joystick, I can't stop you from making the wrong decision. You know what I'm saying? All I can do is continuously tell you guys, some of the things that you guys are doing Look, you can't just don't do it, bro. Just don't do it. Like, you should. It shouldn't even be a thought in your mind. You guys were asking about it, so I'm gonna talk about it. But if this AP and Trey Edmonds should not be a thought. Like, you should be like, all right, cool. Lamar Jackson, maybe. I saw some of you guys write that. Um, and feel free, guys, to keep writing the golden tickets that you want me to go over. But make sure you remember that we're going over them, so you can always check out the previous videos. But Lamar Jackson is a very expensive one because he's a right-handed Michael Vick. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, him, he has a throw power. I just want you guys to see this. Look how far away this idiot is from Aaron Rodgers. And I'm getting a pressure inaccurate. Th that's the one knock on Aaron Rodgers, dude. Like, that idiot will overthrow the ball if anybody is like, bro, the dude is so far away from I couldn't even believe it, but it is what it is. Again, if you get somebody with better, better throw under pressure, that is good. But he may take longer to wind the ball up. 
So for that, that happens very rarely in a game. Um, when I say rarely, it's probably like two or three times, two or, well, let's say two or three, maybe two times a game max, depending on how many times you throw the ball. Maybe, two, okay, pick it off. Yep. All right, good. Dive nowhere near it. Yeah, this, at this point, this guy was just being annoying. He was like, yo, I got Madden. I'm going to come on. I got a G string on and I'm going to make this guy's life a living hell. That's pretty much what he was doing. So if you guys want to know what he was doing, that's pretty much what he was doing. It, look, the guy just came out. He was—he wanted to be a real Dak Prescott, start getting blown out uncontrollably, and then try to come back and get garbage yards. The dude really thought he was Dak Prescott, bro. And again, I want to know, because I know a lot of you guys that watch my videos are Dallas Cowboy fans. Do you think Dak Prescott is worth 40 mil? If you think Dak Prescott is worth 40 mil, write 40 M-I-L, 40 mil in the comment section. If you don't think he's worth it, write the number that you'd be willing to pay him. Like I said, Jared Goff is making like 33 mil. That dude garbage, bro. Listen, it don't really matter. I just want to let you guys understand. It's not about me feeling that the dude is garbage. You got to go after what you think you're worth. I got no problem at all with what Dak Prescott is doing. I just want to point that out. And I think he should be paid based on the market. Is the dude a guy that I would pay that money to? Absolutely not. But is he, you know, based on what his position and what is going on right now, he is a quarterback in the National Football League. He wants to get paid like that. Plus, he knows that, you know, Patty Mahomes and these boys are going to be getting money soon. He doesn't want to be left in the dust. It is what it is. But I want to know from Dallas Cowboy fans, is this guy worth 40 plus mil? You know what I'm saying? Like, is he really worth it? Because, again, I don't think he is based on, like, what we're looking for in a quarterback. Like, the dude, okay, he hit stick me then. But, again, based on market value, you got to pay him. Because if you tell me that if you tell me that Jared Goff is worth 33 whatever mil he's getting, something's wrong with you. I got no problem with him getting it because I'm not paying him it. But again, if you say he's worth it, he's, you know it is okay. Fumble it then. Fumble it then. Run backwards too. Yo, what is going on? Yo, okay. So Walter Payton will fumble the football. Let's just change everything. What, forget about Dak. Walter Payton will fumble the football, but he is a very very good back. Like it's weird though because he does fumble a lot more, and it's not about fatigue. Because I, I cycle it. I got Saquon. I got Barry. I cycle them in. But if you line him up for a big hit stick, he's putting that ball on the ground. That's one thing that he's doing. Like, the ball's going to be on the ground. He don't care. It is what it is. I just want to make sure you guys understand that. Now, the next thing that you guys probably want to ask is, did Bo Jackson really fumble like that? Bo Jackson didn't fumble crazy like that, but he fumbled. This guy is fumbling like every other game. That's bad. Not even Bo Jackson was doing that. And Bo Jackson was always getting hit stick. So, I, you know, that's something that I agree with you guys. But he will break tackles. He will swerve through the tackles. He will do a lot of things like that and, you know, get you guys what you need uh, in yardage wise. But again, I would just, you know, err on the side of caution and uh, make sure that you always have his stamina like full. Don't go out there with no half stepping. Don't set trip. Shout out to my dudes from Cali. Don't ever set trip. Cause you know I ain't trip, and you know I wouldn't trip. Like, all right, let's moss him. And he got this moss because of the way that he went and um, you know celebrated early in the game. I didn't forget it. I used it as motivation. The last dance, Michael Jordan, the goat. But again, thank you guys and girls for watching. Stay away from Golden Ticket AP and Trey Edmonds. Leave your next review in the comments. One love, y'all.